So you've got dopamine, right? That's the chemical that gets released in your brain whenever you do something pleasurable, like eating, sex, and that's just nature, right? Like rabbits and fish and shit. They need dopamine so that they want hey, to... Hey, what's a thought? Reproduce. What do you mean? I mean, what are thoughts? The stuff that pops up in your brain. What's that? And where do they come from? Now that I think about it, I don't think I really know, but aren't you a thought yourself? Yeah, so, like, can you just tell me what you are? No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no, you work for me, not the other way around, so how about you stop with the whole fake self-aware bullshit and just try answering my question? Alright, alright, but you really need to start working on that temper then. Fuck you. Okay. Let's see, how about we try this? Neurons release brain chemicals known as neurotransmitters, which generate these electrical signals in neighboring neurons. The electrical signals propagate like a wave to thousands of neurons, which leads to thought formation. What do you mean, which leads to thought formation? You didn't answer the most fucking important part there. Okay, let's just google the literal meaning of the thought. An idea or opinion produced by thinking or occurring suddenly in the mind. Jesus Christ, you're still not answering my fucking question! Okay, so a few days have passed, which I've spent scouring the internet for answers and pondering with the very classic hand on chin pulls while my brain was emitting fucking gamma waves from the sheer amount of ponder force I was generating. And after a few many painful attempts at the act of congruent writing, I have ended up with a half decent answer. First off, no one truly knows what thoughts are, but on the deeper end, they kind of know how they are for, which is a start at least. So, how are thoughts created? The thing is, I can't answer that question without going through a tangent about what our brain does. So, our lovely anxiety-filled self-torturing brains have one very overarching program that has been running since our birth, and we keep on doing so until we die. Our brain tries to decode physical reality in such a way that it could be both the most accurate and useful for us. Think of it as our own subjective theory of life, and it does so by constantly absorbing information. Our brain branches outward, takes a bunch of immediate information, brings it in and digests it, and using that new information destroys a few things and builds a few others, like a self-correcting mechanism, which, by the way, is the model we use to make deep learning. Now, keep in mind, this program is always running subconsciously in our mind, and one of the tools the brain uses to self-correct is thoughts. You don't truly notice most of your thoughts, do you? Mostly because most thoughts don't deserve to get noticed. Our thoughts are in an unending constant battle against one another. For conscious attention, our brain is a battlefield of thoughts dying and arising at each instant. In fact, it is very hard to consciously notice a thought. If you don't believe me, try mindfulness meditation for like 30 seconds. Having established this, we can now branch into the thoughts that do in fact manage to get into the surface. They step into the light and demand attention. Sometimes even order us around and make us write video essays about them. Now, how does this happen? Why do some thoughts deserve our attention and some don't? How is that decision made? And the answer is... I have no fucking clue, and I'm pretty sure no one truly knows either. But how about ideas though? Or our eureka moments? Those thoughts feel like revelations from a higher being, like being possessed by something. I will admit that when you think about it, it nearly seems like a magical spell. So, what's happening with that? Well, think of it this way. Our brain is like an interconnected web of clustered information, and Together, they form a map, or a picture, but in nearly all cases, the picture is incomplete, like an incomplete puzzle, so our brain does what brains do. It tries to fill the gaps as best as it can. It's trying to guess what's the picture, and if you reach a certain point where you have enough pieces of a puzzle, the brain will fill the gaps on its own, and will slap you in the face with the picture it just managed to draw. 